Hello, welcome to Mama Sue's Kitchen. Today is Cinco de Mayo Day. So I wanted to show you something that I really like is guacamole. This is another dish that's made totally different by everybody, but I'm gonna show you how I do mine. I get my avocados. Now what I like to do is I like to just kind of make little slits in mine and then I take a spoon and just go around and get it all out. I'm going to do that with this. This is a little seed in this one. Look how little that is. But the avocado looks good. I love Mexican food. I could eat tacos and chips and salsa all the time. I love it. Absolutely love it. And I tell myself, you know, it's good to eat avocados because it's a good fat for you, which it is. All right, let me do another. I tried one time trying to uh, grow my own avocados from the seed that I had saved, but it didn't work for me. Don't even know if our weather here would be, you know, the right growth for them or not. But anyway, So you just make your little crosses in there. And the reason I do that is it makes it easier when I mash it. I am going to go ahead and do this third one. At first I wasn't. Harold doesn't care for it. If we're out and we order something He'll say, hold the, uh, hold the guacamole, but he has eaten it before. There's a dark, a dark spot on the inside of this one. So I'm going to take my spoon and just kind of get that out. Good thing I went ahead and uh, cut that one because it would not have been good another day. Get that little piece out too. You see that little dark spot? Let me cut it out. It's all along the edge, so I'm going to just go around it. Yeah. And get a little bit more. Okay, now I just take a fork and I just start mashing. And you know, I kind of like mine a little chunky, not, not a lot, but I don't want it liquidy. So just mash it as much as you would like. If I had had um, cilantro, I would have, I would add it also, but I don't have it, and I've made it both ways, so this is going to be good without it, but let me tell you what I'm going to do. I really wanted to see how much this was before I cut my onion. All right, I have a half of an onion, but it, I'm not gonna put all of that in there. I'm gonna take a, about fourth, probably. And I'm just gonna cut it in little pieces.
you know, growing up, I, I don't remember ever eating Mexican food. I know I didn't have guacamole. I guess growing up in the country, you had vegetables and meat and potatoes. Okay, I had a, a tomato that's pretty good that I had uh, made us a tomato, or Carol made a tomato sandwich for us for lunch, and uh, we saved the rest. So I'm just gonna chop it up. Now, I know that the Roma tomatoes really are better for this, but this will be fine. Okay. Now I'm gonna add that chopped onion and the chopped tomato. To this mash have a cup. Okay. Now I add garlic and this um I didn't measure. I'm gonna add some black pepper and a little salt. Then I have, let's see where I put it. It was right there in front of me. It was covered up, but I have a lime. I'm just going to squeeze it real good. All in here. Wasn't a real big one, but it's juicy. So that's good. All right. Mash it up now. If I had one, I would chop up a jalapeno pepper. And I would also put some cilantro. But I don't have it. And this is going to be good. I'm going to put just a little bit more garlic. Make sure I got all that lime juice. Okay. That's all there is to it. Wasn't hard to do it all. I'm going to put a little bit here. And get me a couple of chips. And let me taste it. Let's see how I did. I could eat this whole bowl right now. But I'm not. But y'all, it's so good. And it's healthy for you also. But you can add anything else you want. Like I said, if I had jalapenos, I would have definitely put some. Now, I would take the seed out, but to give it the taste. And some people might say, why is she telling us something? Why is she showing us a dish when she doesn't even have all the ingredients that you could put in it? I want you to know that you can make something with what you have. And it'll taste good. Can't do that with a cake. You gotta go by the directions for a cake. But for other things, this is just really, really good and easy. Let me tell you something else. You see these seed that I took out? If you'll put them down in here. And when you cover this with plastic, that will prevent the guacamole from turning bright, uh, dark so quickly. But if you were gonna fix this for company, you wouldn't have to do that because it's gonna be gone before long. <clears throat> but anyway, hope you had a good day today and, and just uh, remember that you can make uh, 
this guacamole in five minutes or so if you have everything right ready and uh, it's good. Y'all, I hope that you just remember to be kind, to let others see Jesus in you. You be salt and light. Let others see the light of Jesus in you. Y'all, go and find my um, Instagram page and my YouTube, and you can like those and follow me there. And if you see um, something that I have used that you might like to see where to get one like this knife knife if you'll go to my web page it's uh mama sue's <clears throat> excuse me mama sue's uh southern and i have a, a link that's called products or favorite products and it'll take you right there have a great day and i'll be back soon